and I'll be steadying it with my other hand. So when you're doing that, it's kind of a trade-off. If you take heavy cuts, then you got to grip it pretty tight. And you burn your hand. So you really want to take real light cuts so you don't have to grip, uh, hold on to it too tight. Okay, so that looks like it will seat down in there nicely. So this is the bottom of the candle cup. So I'll just kind of taper things down a little bit at that point. And basically at this point, really, you can do anything you want. It's wide open. Uh, in terms of how fancy and ornate you want to make it, or how simple you want to make it, it's totally up to your personal tastes. I'll maybe tape it out a little bit more and then have a bead at the base of it.
Okay. So now I'll make uh, like a small plate, like a saucer. And, well, I guess it, the tendon didn't need to be anywhere near that long. I'll probably cut that off a bit. So I can use a thinner piece of wood, but uh, I'll make a base for it. So I'll dress this face uh, flat first. Okay, it got the finish off of it as well. Then I'll square up the sides and shoulder of the tenon. And just in case I need it later, I'll put a dimple on there. Not sure at this point how I'm going to reverse that, so I may wind up not needing that. It's there if I do need it. I'll be taking that tenon off at some point, so... Okay, so I've got some checking in this face of this piece of oak, so I don't want to get too close to that face, but I do want there to be enough uh, lift, the edge, I want the edge to be higher than, higher than the, the base the foot where it's going to sit on the table. I want it to be enough higher so that I can get my fingers under it when it's sitting on a table to pick it up. Okay, so I need a three-quarter inch hole in the middle for that tenon. So 
so now I will turn that around if I can figure out a way to hold it. Okay, so hopefully that's on there straight now. So I'll remove the bulk of the waste. find out if that fit is tight enough for me to cut on there without the tail stock holding it. Okay. Okay, so judging by the glue that's left in the pot, in the mixing cup, I'd say that the glue in the joint should be stiff enough to stay where it is now. And there is the completed handle stick with a metal liner for the cup. Thank you for watching.